The topic for this video is memory reference instructions. Now if you remember the diagram of a control unit of a computer, in that particular diagram, the three bits of an instruction, the 12, 13 and the 14th bit entered into a 3 cross 8 decoder which produced D0 to D7 outputs which defined different operational codes. Now in that case, if D7 was 1, then that instruction was either register reference or input output instruction, else the instruction was referred to as memory reference instructions. So basically, D0 to D6 values are for different opcodes. They perform seven different operations which are to be discussed in detail now. So D0 is, is the first opcode and it stands for AND and to AC and AC stands for accumulator so that is and to accumulator now what is done here is an and operation is performed between the data at the effective address and the bits of the accumulator so how can this be illustrated is first of all there is a effective address which is represented by AR and the memory of this particular address is represented by M of AR now according to this operation what we have to do is we have to save the result in accumulator of and between the accumulator and the data present at a particular effective address but we will not write it in this way see there is no direct path from bus into accumulator so first of all the logic circuits receive info from the data register and then transfer so what we'll do is first of all there's a data register which is represented by dr the contents present at that particular effective address will be first stored in data register and then and operation will be performed between the bits of the accumulator and that particular data register so in spite of this we will represent it by this statement and then the sequence counter is set to 0. So this is the first operational code. Now let's talk about next operational code which is add to accumulator which is similar. First of all what we are doing is we are transferring the contents at that particular effective address to dr and then doing the add operation between the bits of the accumulator and that dr sequence counter is set to zero and after performing the add operation if there is an output carry it is stored in e that is the extended accumulator okay next is d2 which is lda that stands for load to accumulator so what we are doing is we are loading the value of that data register in the accumulator. Now D3 is STA which is store accumulator. That means at that particular effective address now we are storing the contents of the accumulator. It's vice versa. We are storing the contents of the accumulator in at that particular effective address next is bun which is branch unconditionally which is represented like this basically the effective address is transferred to the program counter it basically allows the programmer to specify an instruction out of sequence and then that program jumps to that particular instruction that means branches unconditionally what we are going to do here is the address of that particular instruction that has to be executed next without any condition is transferred to pc okay next is d5 which is bsa this is branch and save return address 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ बी एस ए इट इज यूजफुल फॉर ब्रांचिंग टू अ पोर्शन ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम विच इज कॉल्ड अ सब रूटीन और अ प्रोसीजर सो लाइक इन बन इट वॉज द इंटायर नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड बट इन दिस केस यू जस्ट हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट और यू हैव टू जस्ट ब्रांच टू अ पोर्शन ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड देन रिटर्न बैक टू योर ऑन गोइंग इंस्ट्रक्शन सो द स्टेप्स फॉलो इन दिस इज Now, how these steps work? We'll straight using an example. And last is I S Z, which is increment and skip if zero. Now, basically, what we are doing here is we increment the word that is specified by effective address. and then check if that incremented value is zero so if the incremented value is zero pc value is incremented by 1 else not how does this work is first of all in this case the contents at the effective address are transferred to dr then dr is incremented by 1 if the incremented part is 0 if dr is equal to 0 then pc is incremented by 1 so these are the different memory reference instructions now let's illustrate this with an example okay this is an example this is before the instruction execution and this is after the instruction execution now this is the contents of the memory in this case at a particular address 20 there is an instruction called bsa where 0 is for direct addressing and 135 is the effective address as you know pc is equal to 25 that means it is the address of the next instruction in the program ar holds the value 135 so now when bsa instruction is performed that means this the value of pc is transferred into that that means ar value is 135 and here the value of pc that is 21 is stored so in the next after the execution of the instruction as you can see here it was nothing but here at particular 135 we are storing the value of pc that means you need to return to this particular address after the completion of your subroutine okay and then what we are going to do is ar's value is incremented by 1 that means now ar's value will be 136 we are going to do is ar 135 plus 1 that is 136 and then it is transferred to pc that means pc's value will be 136 now as you can see pc value is shifted to here it was 21 but now pc is shifted to 136 so basically the return address 21 is stored in the memory location 135 and the control continues with the subroutine program starting from the address 136 that is this okay because pc is at 136 that means after this instruction you have to what does pc mean pc means the address of the next instruction that means after this you will jump to this and subroutine will be executed now the return to the original program is accomplished by the means of the bun instruction that is branch unconditionally what you have to do is you have to jump at this particular address given by the bun instruction that means 135 when you will jump to 135 address it contains the value 21 that means 21 stands for next instruction so you will get back to the next instruction in the program so what happened here was you were just redirected towards the address of the subroutine and then you were coming back to the original program using bun instruction so these were different memory reference instructions thank you